Alright, here we go. Another LP. Let's do this. And what are we going to play this time? Hmm, I don't know. Well, well I, I mean, I know. And uh, you know what? You probably know because you're just going to look at the top of the screen. You would know because that's just the title of the fucking thing. And wow, that's a loud volume. Let me turn that down. Okay. So, here's the intro. Long ago in a far, far away galaxy. No, okay, I won't, I won't read it to you. Basically, it's the background story of the how the uh, Power Rangers came to be. They talk about Zordon and the Zords. And how they earned the title of... Epic Pause. I love that lightning effect. Oh yeah, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Yeah, let's press start. Okay, before we get it started real quick, let me go to options. I want to put it on hard, and that's the only option I have. Actually, let me fuck around with this, uh, the controls real quick. I want to change just a quick thing, just, just preference type of thing. There we go. Uh, no, there we go. Okay, just wasting time here. Okay, so that was like the most boring little intro ever. So yeah, here's my newest LP, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie. And here's the little intro to the story. About 6,000 years ago, there was this uh, morphological ugly purple guy named Ivan Ooze. And he ruled the world with his scary goatee. And then he took out all the adults and had kids and created a planet of the flies. But then the kids overthrew his ass, and it was like, what the fuck? And now he's uh, about to be let out again. Uh, you know, he's about to take over, try to take over the world all over again, and it's up to the Power Rangers to stop him. And so here we go, stage one. Alright, well, in lieu of my Super Mario RPG uh, LP, I'm going to start with Billy here, the Blue Ranger. But in lieu of my... Uh, my Super Mario RPG LP, I, I actually was inspired to play this game. Not because it's anything like this game, obviously, but in the Super Mario RPG there was these, uh, this group of enemies in the game called the Axum Rangers, and they were a straight up rip off of the Power Rangers, so I just, I just, it brought back so many memories of playing this game and how much I used to love this show, that I decided to do this game since it's part of my childhood, as is most of these games I've played, except for, of course, Mario RPG, which is a blind run. Anywho, so here we are on the first level, kicking the ants out of some, uh, Ivan Ooze's little Ooze, I don't know what the fuck they call called, Oozman? Oozman. Oozmanzada. TJ Oozmanzada. No, but seriously, these, uh, guys are a little bit annoying and I'm a little bit flustered right now, so excuse my crappiness. And I do have it on hard, so my time limits are always going to look like I'm about to run out of time, so bear with me. And all that happens when you run out of time is your your life starts to, to like slowly decreasing a little bit and a little bit. So I mean, you don't exi like get a game over if you run out of time. So bear with me on that. And this should be a relatively short LP, anyways. I'm just gonna kick the ass out of these a lot of guys while I reminisce about some Power Rangers. So I don't know. I'm gonna have to come up with a lot more stuff to talk about besides this game because this game is really just straight up smashing buttons and kicking ass. So, what can we talk about? Uh, well, let's start with the movie. Um, I very, I really remember this movie when it first came out. I mean, I was like just so ecstatic for it. And I remember on the show they had just switched up like they used it. They used the um the games and the movie to kind of show the new people who took over on the Power Rangers. Because in this game and the movie, they they actually had a new Red Ranger, a new Black Ranger, and a new Yellow Ranger. And it was really weird. Because the whole, you know, beginning of the Power Rangers, you got the Yellow Ranger, the little Asian girl. You got the Black Ranger, who's the black guy. And then you got the Red Ranger, who's like the leader man. So, I mean... All at once, you lost the black guy, you lost the Asian girl, and you lost the leader. So you're like, what the f- How does that work? How do you lose your leader, let alone, you know, two of the things that make you <laughs> ethnically diverse? Well, 
The way they combated that is they brought in a black girl to be the Yellow Ranger. They brought in some Asian looking looking, I say, because he's not Asian. Asian looking guy to be the Black Ranger. And they brought in a new guy to be the semi leader. I mean, by that time they decided, okay, we're just gonna use this other guy who was before was the Green Ranger as the White Ranger and he'll just be their new leader. The Red Ranger will just gonna take a back seat to him. And that's pretty much the way they went from there on out. So in this movie, the the quote unquote leader of the of the Power Ranger crew is Tommy or the White Ranger. But yeah, I remember when this movie was coming out, I was so excited to see live action Power Rangers. Not live action, it's all live action, uh you know. I was you know, my favorite characters on the big screen in a full length story that didn't just last, you know, twenty minutes with commercials. Yeah, and Ivan News was pretty damn entertaining. For as cheesy Aaron was speaking to him, here he is coming up here. He's about to zap my ass real quick and finish off this level. Yeah, see, not much of a battle there. But yeah, Ivan News was a pretty good character. He was pretty funny. Um, I'm gonna skip through this scoring thing.